Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly reading. So I hope you guys had a lovely weekend. My name is Emily for those of you who are new to my channel and for those of you who are regular viewers, welcome back. So um, it's been an intense few days. I don't know about you guys, but there's been so much going on here. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to record the Blunt Truth on Friday. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that Friday ended up being a crazy day of midwife appointments and um, and um, scans. So yeah, everything's fine. Thank you for all your messages. And I'm excited to do this weekly. So we're going to use a Moonology deck to get kind of an overall theme for this week because I am feeling like there's some crazy cosmic energy right now. Um, I know we had the lunar eclipse in Scorpio, but it just feels like it's still pretty intense, like the energy, there's still something going on. So we're going to work out what that is and we're going to use the tarot as well to find out what messages we need to hear for this week. So if this reading resonates, please don't forget to let me know in the comments. So we have this new moon in Capricorn card all about your hard work paying off. So maybe it just feels intense because there's a lot going on. There could be a lot manifesting at this time for you. So whether it happens this week, whether it was last week or just in the coming weeks, um, you know, there's a lot of shifts taking place and this means that energy is transforming, things are manifesting from the 5D to the 3D. And when we experience those kinds of shifts and changes, it can make us feel um, kind of energized. So maybe you're struggling to sleep at night, or maybe you're just feeling quite restless because you, you know that there's going to be a new arrival. It's almost like subconsciously, you know that something is arriving. So there's this excitement, which could be, you know, kind of like affecting you in some way because you may not know where this is coming from. Um, and I think whenever we feel something which we can't necessarily explain, it's easy to start overthinking it and even becoming quite anxious about where this is coming from. So there is nothing to worry about. This card is just saying, you know, all that hard work you've been putting into whatever project this is, whether it's a relationship, something with work, um, or something more personal, then it's, it's paying off. You know, you're going to start to see those results and it's going to happen, um, in all honesty, quite soon. This next moon cycle is going to be really important. So pay attention to what happens over the next four weeks and try to connect with the moon phases a little bit. So notice, you know, what's happening, um, you know, each day. You don't have to do anything major, but just have a little look at what the moon phase is and see if there's something that you can do to kind of journal or just help work with that moon phase. We have the North Node card. So step out your comfort zone. So this week is definitely about facing the unfamiliar. You know, when we receive this card, it really is a push for us to do something which we don't necessarily feel comfortable with. So starting something new, maybe beginning a new project or perhaps moving to somewhere new. Um, whatever it is that feels uncomfortable right now, that's a sign that you should do it. Because our ego tries to keep us in a box. Our ego knows what's safe. Um, it's like, yeah, we do this every day. Let's stick doing it because we're, we're safe here. Everything's fine. But sometimes we have to step out of our comfort zone because that's where um, our soul can grow. That's how we evolve. It's by doing new things and enjoying new experiences. But whenever this happens, our ego is like, don't do it. We don't know what we're doing here. It's unfamiliar. You know, let's just stick with what we know. And that's where that anxiety comes from because it's, it's all coming from that place of ego. So if something feels uncomfortable, then that is your sign that you should go for it you'll be able to tell the difference between um, something feeling uncomfortable because it's new and something feeling uncomfortable because your gut is telling you not to do it. So listen to your gut because that is the, you know, the important voice. That's what's going to say, yeah, we need to do this here if we want to move forwards. So there's clearly something which I feel you are working towards, but in order for you to manifest this, it requires you to do something different, do something bold. And it's, it's really important right now that we do allow ourselves to do that. So let's look with the tarot. Let's find out what's been going on, what's going to happen this week. 
So we've got the strength card. So there has been some challenges here, but I want to say that you've already overcome these challenges. Um, whatever setbacks were present, it feels like you have worked through them. Maybe you've had to do this on your own. Maybe you were hoping that you had the support of another person, but that person just couldn't show up. You know, we are in Mercury retrograde, so perhaps um, the last couple of weeks you've just felt like you've had to do a lot by yourself. You know, that's not a bad thing at all. I think maybe you were relying on someone else to help or a relationship here and spirit has had to show you um, ways to be independent or break free of some kind of codependency. So yeah, you've, you've clearly had to do something on your own that you were hoping for assistance with, but it's given you more strength, more resilience. It's shown you just what you're capable of. And now you know what you're capable of. You feel prepared to step out your comfort zone. You feel prepared for what lies ahead. I feel like the last few months have been such a challenge for you to become more independent, for you to face challenges head on rather than running from any challenges and also relying less on someone specific. So there's clearly someone here who I feel like you want loyalty from, um, someone who you're very loyal to and you're hoping that they show you that in return, but they hadn't been, um, not because they're not loyal, but just because I, I feel this person's been, you know, sleeping and resting and focusing on their own healing journey. Um, so yeah, you've had to kind of change your mindset, change your focus away from that. So that's what's been going on. So let's see where we're at currently. Some of you may have been worrying about a separation here, worrying about, you know, what does this distance mean between you and this person? I just keep hearing nothing. I don't think there's anything to read into here. It's more just like, you know, this person's doing their thing. You've had to do your thing and you've had to do it on your own because there could have been a little bit of codependency here. Okay, we've got the chariot card. So where we're at right now, some of you feel like perhaps you've taken a step back. Some of you may be feeling like you're not progressing forwards, but you are. You've overcome this challenge. And yes, there may still be a few obstacles in front of you. It may not be like you can see the finish line. Perhaps there's some more twists and turns along the path. But overall, you're still moving forwards. Now, right now, you're clearly having to surrender something to the divine. And I think this is the scary part. It's letting go of control, allowing ourselves to be carried, to be taken somewhere to go with the flow um and you know right now that's the best thing you can do is stay balanced and just kind of commit to moving forwards in spirit's way so whatever this divine plan is um something here i think it, it's like a divine detour. It's a route that we didn't expect to take, but it's a route that we are meant to take. So perhaps there was a roadblock and you couldn't go the way that you wanted. So you're having to, you know, take this detour and just really trust that, you know, spirit does have a plan for this. Like you're not going to be left in the dark. You are not going to be put in a really you know, unfulfilling situation where you're going is actually so successful. You know, the strength and the chariot card, both cards of success. Um, both summer cards as well. We've got Cancer and we've got Leo energy here. So for sure, we have some, some big things manifesting this summer. And maybe this week is more about preparing to leave your comfort zone so that you can manifest this in the right time. And this week is, you know, that challenge of I'm going to surrender control. I'm not going to try to, you know, control other people or this situation. So there is going to be like a new beginning here. I feel there could be a new contract coming in to sign. Um, there could be a conversation which takes place, which just feels like it's a very productive conversation. So let's have a look. This week, what's this week in particular for? Okay, the Seven of Cups fell on the floor. Give me one second. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. 
Now, the Seven of Cups represents not just a decision which we need to make, but also this idea, this notion that we need to get out of our heads. So this week is about grounding. It's about not losing ourselves in the clouds. You know, staying focused on what we need to do and remembering that the more we overthink things, the more we're almost kind of making up false scenarios and we're perhaps thinking the worst when we don't need to. So whatever is in your head right now or throughout this week, try to let it go. Try to clear it. Um, Because the clearer your mind, you know, the more decisive you can be, the more open to spirit's plan you can be as well. If you do find yourself with a choice to make this week, then trust your gut. It comes back to, you know, listening to your gut, following your intuition, making the right decision. Don't procrastinate. This is a week for being firm with your choices, being confident, trusting your decision making. And then lastly, before we go into the extended, we have the King of Cups. So we do have someone here and I feel like this is the person that I was talking about earlier who couldn't help you with a previous challenge, but is now going to be showing up. You know, now you are proving that you can do this independently and you're not relying on another person. It seems like they can show up in a healthier way, in a way which is more balanced, in a way which is... um you know, it's got a more successful outcome. This is two people who can now show up for each other in a way where you're not relying on the other person. And that just makes space for such a healthy partnership, whether this is romance, work, friends, family, whatever it is. There is like um, a real, uh, just a real health here, you know, something which is it's balanced and it's grounded and it is going to move forwards. I do feel like this is where the conversation lies. It's between the two of you on, um, you know, how do we take that next step, basically? What is the next step? Okay, guys, so let's go into the extended. Let's find out more about this situation. Let's find out about the outcome for this week and see what other messages come through. So if you're resonating with this reading, then check out the extended on my Patreon site, sacredspace.co.uk. You'll find it in the spirit section there. Um, but thank you for joining me today. Let me know what resonated. And don't forget to check out my other social media channels. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram where you can find daily readings on Instagram, uh, on Facebook, sorry, I do pick a cards as well. So check them all out and um, you'll find lots of extra content. But I'll see you over on Sacred Space now for the rest of this weekly. This week, another major arcana, temperance. Patience, patience, patience keep surrendering keep trusting that this cycle is ending because for the extended version visit www.sacredspace.co.uk click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase you can also filter by category and choose extended Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.